hot new resin just in time for the holidays. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Ron Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we're going to share with you today the hot new releases from Creature Caster. They have uh, three of them. They sent two of them over to us. Uh, I still haven't got a Krampus yet, but that's okay. The busts are kind of cool, but uh, they're not really super my thing, so to speak. But miniatures definitely 100% are. And this year for the holidays, they have the return of the holiday bus, the Krampus, of course, uh, for a limited time here and, and during the holidays. They did it last year too. It was a big hit, so they brought it back. But they also have uh, the new Queen of Ruin miniature and the twins too, which is kind of like an in-between uh, to stuff they've done in the past, but kind of something more on the new side for them. And let's face it, they're always pushing that crazy design envelope and I think it's really fun to kind of see what they come up with next uh, coming out and they're definitely branching off and going in smaller and bigger directions all at once. So jumping over to their website creaturecaster.com it'll take you to, to store. Um, they have a couple of different domains so you know depending if you're in England or Europe or something like that they're gonna have a different domain for you different stock uh, and things like that but you don't have to worry about they're not gonna charge you extra money and, and uh, stuff like that and sometimes the UK and the EU get their stuff a little bit later than the US because they are based here in the US slash Canada so there's that to consider but and you know the good news is that they do get their stuff out pretty quick and also they you know they're not going to charge you any arbitrage or any hidden you know currency fees or anything like that just for the convenience of buying in your own currency in your own country here you can see the newest releases they've got uh what is it the queen of ruin the new twins model right here and the krampus is back for the holidays now something cool um, about the Queen of Ruin, they're doing the King and the Queen series for, you know, the major pantheon. And that's really neat to see. You can also earn the creature coins, so that's something I haven't really touched on before in the past. But they do have like some bonus stuff you can do and you can save them up and you can cash them in uh, to get products and discounts on things. It's, it's a pretty neat little program, you know, and nobody's really doing it out there. So mad props to them. Here you can kind of see a little bit of a breakdown of uh, the miniature and there's a couple different uh, versions of it with the banner let's see if i can pick it out right here so there's this one with the little cage which i think we should already showed you in our instagram feed and there's another well there's a size so it's going to be up to about uh what is that four five six seven seven inches give or take slightly under seven inches and then here you can see what it's going to look like when it comes uh, all the different parts I don't think that is all the parts though. It seems like there's a few parts missing. But that's the exploded view of the detail. I feel like there's more parts in that. Is there the part two? There's not a part two. There's definitely more parts in this, but we'll show it to you since we got it here uh, <laughs> shortly. So 119 for this model. It's pretty big, you know, it's it's one of their, their bigger models, not quite as big as the uh, King of Ruin, but it is uh, it is pretty pretty stocky, pretty pretty thick, so to speak. So here's the the, the twins. Cezrune of a Desire, and this is kind of where they push the envelope on uh, designs and things, as you can see. Don't know exactly what's going on, but they kind of pair up, and it looks like they're, um, they're, they have these, like, some sort of demon tentacle antler things that kind of pair up as well. Very interesting. Uh, the model itself is a little bit smaller than what we've seen. That's about five and a half inches, and I think it's on, like, a 60 mil base, but you can kind of see how it compares up to uh, a normal miniature right there and then parts wise again I don't think this is all the parts but they are numbered now just like you saw before can we click on this and see hmm twin parts oh okay is there multiples no they just put up one I don't know what happened there but there's definitely more parts than that but there those are the ones that are numbered now as far as assembly goes oh let's take a look at the Krampus because we didn't get one of these so I might as well just show it to you for $49 Seems pretty cool. It's it's beefy. Um, they don't show a size on it right here, but it's got lots of cool details, and it is kind of beefy. I actually don't have a, a specific size. I want to say it's like five and a half inches tall, give or take. But I've seen it in person. It's pretty neat. Uh, I think Kenny's painting one over on next level painting. And then last but certainly not least, if you need assembly instructions, you can go over to uh, their uh, what is it? The con. 
shoot, what is this? It's in there. Oh, community section. So it's in the community section, which is right there. And then you can kind of see uh, some of their latest posts, which they post up on uh, social media as the assembly instructions. So there's the two assembly instructions and the most recent one for the Queen of Malefica, which we also showed you here on the channel. Oh, I didn't realize they posted this. So this is one of their uh, new designs. It's going to be a smaller figure. I forget the name of it, but oh, it's kind of blurred out. Well, maybe you're not supposed to know that. Anyways, <laughs> uh, coming soon from Creature Caster, that thing. I don't, I don't know what that is, but maybe it's a figure, maybe it's not, I don't, I don't know. Well, let's take, <laughs> take a look at the miniatures on the tabletop. So, like I said earlier, we unfortunately do not have uh, the Krampus miniature, but that's okay. So, here we've got the Queen of Ruin, and then, of course, the twins right here. They're a little bit smaller, as you can tell by the packaging. Price is a little bit different, but that definitely makes sense, and you can kind of see... That how they label things on the back right there. Well, let's start with the Queen of Ruin. Now, once you get one of these packages, sometimes they're gonna come with everything in a, a little bubble envelope. Sometimes it's gonna come with different parts in here. And like I said, there's a lot more parts to this miniature than what they showed on their site. So don't be you know, fooled by that or anything like that. Now, everything's gonna come in uh, little baggies. Everything has numbers now from them and you can, you know, it's attached to a sprue. Some of the bigger stuff, will kind of be by itself in here as well. But uh, that's basically how this stuff comes. Now we can lay it out and kind of take a look at it here in a second. But I definitely wanted to show you exactly what you would be getting out of the box. So I didn't want to completely uh, unbox everything here because I still want to show you something as when we show you the uh, assembled version here. But these are some of the larger pieces that didn't come in baggies and this was uh, the assembly that came in uh, the envelope right there. And this actually goes together and you can see these uh, little assembly, I don't know, we'll just call them sockets right there that uh, you can use to apply your glue and stuff. Now, it doesn't match up 100% because there's actually some teeth, uh, I think, that go in there. But this is uh, basically a larger assembly. And you can start, kind of start to see where all the uh, little um, rot minions and things are kind of pouring out of the stomach slash tongue. And then the tongue kind of goes up and wraps around the arm depending on which version you use and there is two different uh, arms right here which I wanted to show you this one is more of like uh, the cage mount with uh, some sort of little intestines or something on it it's <laughs> kind of grotesque detail but it's there and there's a little minion right there trying to kind of climb up that and then this is some sort of uh, plague sword of some kind with a little uh, extra dagger on the side right there and this is actually a piece of flash that would have to get trimmed off and there's a little piece on here, a little stylized piece um, that I'm sure we'll find it at some point. I'm not gonna put this one together because, uh, well, we just don't have that one. And this is the head of the more kind of diseased, nurgly looking thing. Now there are some extra parts, a big long horn and another horn in the front here, but you can see the, the details quite well done between all the caping and all the diseased flesh and everything and even detail down into the horn itself. And then this is the other version of it, which we're not gonna assemble right here. It's more of a kind of like a female knight with a ginormous uh, demon horn and some sort of little uh, grotesque display right here of a uh, cadaverous bloom type thing. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that. And then this larger piece here is actually uh, the back kind of skirt, I guess you could call it, that goes on the back of the miniature with uh, yet more guts and spilling things out and ribbons and de decayed metal and. I don't even know what's going on here. And then this is the base that everything sockets into uh, itself. And then there's a spot. I think it's a spot. Um, I have to look at it, but I'm pretty sure you can sock it in. Um, either this, is it this? I think it is this. This looks like it sockets in right there. Or you can put this down somewhere. I don't know exactly, but it's, uh, you know, it's not over the top detail wise. There are some, some uh, skulls here that you can kind of see. But in the past, we've seen where the bases uh, have a tremendous amount of detail. But this is this is a, an acceptable amount of detail once you get everything painted up here. I feel like you're not going to have to spend too much time on the base, but it's still very well detailed and everything's going to slot into it. And here she is all put together. Now, I made a little bit of a mistake when I was looking at the base, uh, to be honest. So it's hard to get the orientation, but Wait, where is it? I already lost it again. So there's a there's a hole for the foot and then a hole for all this stuff going on right here. And this staff, if you decide to do the staff, 
actually goes over top of the base. It isn't actually socketed. You can definitely see it in that picture right there. So in this image, so it's over top of the base. So you can put the the plague sword around back where it doesn't really lock into anything. Or this, there's actually a place for it. And now let's uh let's take a look at the model itself. It's just from back here. I'll zoom in here in a second. But you can kind of get uh it's you know just kind of standing there and just doing her thing and with some sort of cage and this reminds me of like the monkeys from the Wizard of Oz. I don't know what's going on there, but they're kind of creepy, <laughs> that whole scene. But when you, once you start really drilling down into the details, like you've got all these little like rot minion things, I guess they're maybe like not nerglings or something like that, but they're a little bit taller, just kind of spilling forth, like giving birth and spilling forth or something like that. There's the teeth put into place here and then you can see the ginormous tongue goes up drapes around the arm and kind of uh latches on to the post right here and then i guess sort of oh no it doesn't i thought from the depth there no this is a that's all separate but then there's like this banner piece right here and some intestines some uh captured little duders here i don't know if these are people or those little rot minions i don't know what's going on with any of this but that's what makes creature caster so cool is because there's all sorts of things going on all at once and then here you can see the horn the, and the larger horn right here and then this one as well and on the back they did something a little different um they kind of taper these together and i'm not sure I, I think that's the way they're supposed to be and they put bells and things on there and they all lock into place pretty well uh they're pretty sturdy believe it or not so and then there's the uh the large plate in the back the armor plate slash drape of what's going on here you can see a better look at the tongue down there are some gaps this was put together you know kind of kind of fast you can do a better job. You can obviously use that Vallejo plastic putty that we're always raving about here. Uh, if you, I'm trying to grab it and show you, but apparently I can't because it's buried into my container. There it is. <laughs> Vallejo plastic putty. It comes in a tube. This is really great stuff. It's perfect for things like this, uh, filling gaps and uh, losing the cap apparently. So I'll have to find that here in a second. But yeah, gorgeous miniature. $119 from Creature Caster. Uh, available now. Uh, it's come off pre-order and it is available, ready to ship right now. At least here in the U.S., I imagine it'll be in Europe um, here very shortly. Uh, let's do the twins and compare and contrast the two together. So next up are the twins, and that's a little smaller box. They're a $59 kit from Future Caster. There's no parts outside of the envelope, although it is still going to come with the numbered uh, parts inside of some baggies and then some larger pieces, including the base. Well, actually, one larger piece including uh the base right there that's basically how it's going to come now I, i'm pretty sure there isn't any um alternate poses so i'm going to try to lay these out as best i can so we can go over all the parts uh before we get to the assembled model so i reserve the right to backpedal at any time there are some options believe it or not there's two different heads on the male twin which is the larger one uh that is holding uh the female twin right here and the detail on these is really cool. Like you got more of a like kind of a bestial, uh, kind of gruff looking dude, and more of like a Slaneshi kind of uh, glamorous, uh, fulgrimy kind of look here. And then you can kind of see where the female head just kind of goes into this area right here. And they're just kind of like embracing sort of thing right there. So that's kind of neat to see. And then you got the larger chunks here that, um, it's kind of hard to understand what's going on because they're kind of doing that whole computer slice type deal. But I think you get like, you know, the head goes up here and then the, the arm uh, goes over here that I just showed you. And then it all kind of sockets together. But they have, and then there's kind of like the uh, mermaid slash demon embrace tail thing. I don't even know what's going on here. You got some crazy armor, crazy demon armor and crazy serpentine uh, tails that lock into this base right here now, now this is about a 60 mil base give or take uh it's about two and a half two and a quarter inches uh, wide right there so that kind of gives you an idea of uh, the size on this and something else i wanted to uh, mention too on this larger model it said like six and a half but this is almost eight inches to the top of the staff so i'm I would be surprised if once we get this together, this is actually bigger. Um, I don't think it's going to be quite as big as the other model, the Queen of Ruin, but uh, we'll see here in a, a few minutes. And then here's the staff. Just crazy amounts of detail, crazy amounts of, of stuff going on on all of this. It's more like a cross between Slanesh and, and kind of Zinch 
um, of sorts. You could definitely use it as either or just any demon out there. Now the cape or the, um, I don't even know what this is supposed to be, like tattered fabric or something. It's got some very minute detail in it, but there's going to be a lot of opportunity here for you to kind of do some wet blending or airbrushing, depending on what you want to do, which I think is kind of neat um, because you can really kind of pull a lot of the areas from like a darkened armor down to like more of a uh, more organic kind of feel um, bright or from bright to dark because demons are kind of crazy sometimes they go from dark to light so just you can kind of go crazy with this model and it's small enough that it won't probably drive you crazy with the uh, the amount of what's going on and everything here except for this looks a little complicated over here I won't lie but I think it has a lot more to do with their um, their uh, top head horn area kind of thing like all these things are gonna sock it in somehow which we're uh, about to find out and here it is completed now remember when I said this would uh, this would be an easy ish model and it would be kind of uh, lots of room to do a bunch of airbrushing well there is a lot more detail to this I'm, I, I might have to backtrack I might have to lock that one back I had no idea there's a whip back here she's actually holding a whip and it's kind of uh, fluttering about back here and then you can see the little cape tassel dracula wing that might be wings that might be capes i can't even tell what's going on here but these are massive they take out a good portion of of the real estate of this model right here so this is, might be a focal point of it uh which will give you lots of play and then there's lots going on in here with the little mermaid kind of demon thing that we didn't see because these are separate pieces that actually glue in there now there are some gaps i mean with any resin model we showed you in the past you know there's going to be some gapping this was assembled kind of fast so always use a blade of plastic putty to fill in where you need to or just be a little bit more careful when you're assembling it i could do a better job but uh but we don't have to worry about any of that so here's everything going on here then you can see the two different type heads and then the antlers which was basically all those parts that were right down here a few seconds ago um that's what's going on all up in here so the the model itself is very very well detailed with everything all over the place and enough room to really get your kind of hobby juices going when you're going to be painting on the sides here and then you can do lots of cool effects and things and there's enough little minute metallics and armor bits and things to really kind of accentuate and contrast um, you know some different effects and some different things you got hair you got horns you got chains so it, it runs the gamut of detail which is kind of neat i feel like we'll see a lot of these at the resin beast um competition at adepticon 2020. now how do they compare up together well strangely enough i thought this wouldn't be that big compared to the queen of ruin but it turns out it is <laughs> so it is about that six and a half inches tall i would say the queen of ruin up to the staff right there is about eight inches tall give or take and then the base size obviously a little different but that's kind of goes along with the price. This one's 59, this one's 119 in US dollars. Now, how do they compare it to some of the other models out there that you might be a little bit more familiar with? Well, there's a primary space marine. It's so cute. It's about the size of the little rot dude. Rot duder right there. And then speaking of rot duders, we got a little pox walker, just to give you an idea, excuse me, of how that all kind of comes into play right there. And certainly, what's the point if we don't compare it to some sort of demon so there's one that everybody probably knows magnus the red the crimson king himself oh well there goes the sword yikes but it is about on the same size base however you know with that such impressive wingspan it's definitely bigger but the model itself is not so you could obviously use this for something like a greater demon or something like that now these are more um like a demon prince kind of type size on a 60 mil base right there so it's not really going to super compare to magnus just like we saw it didn't super compare uh to uh the queen of ruin right over there but still very cool still definitely something neat and creature caster is always pushing forward that creative envelope with stuff like this and definitely things like this right here so head over to creaturecaster.com to scoop yours up today they are in stock and available at least here in the states and i'm sure they'll be in other areas very very soon uh, to go along with all of their other uh, demonic offerings there. And hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.